Hi guys, it's your girl Natalie, the one true diamond, coming at you with Friday morning chit chat. Yeah, baby, it's Friday. Mm -hmm. Okay, so we're going to rewind back to last Friday. Y'all remember how excited I was because what time it was? Yes, guess what? It's the most wonderful time of the year. Yes. They're going back for real this weekend. Mm -hmm. Yes. Oh, my heart got broke last Saturday. <laughs> but this time, mm -hmm, they gone. Gone, gone, gone on Sunday. No excuses whatsoever. Pack them totes up. Get those suitcases. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Get them in there. Get them in the car. Do it Saturday night so we don't have to worry about it Sunday morning. So we can pull out on time. Mm -hmm. Oh, God, it's going to be so good to have my house back to myself. Yeah, I'm selfish. I know it. I know it. Those of you who have teenagers in the house, y'all can feel me right now. I know somebody can feel me. Oh, God, fuck, when I had got through it, the boys and their teenage years and they bye-bye gones, I thought I was, like, in such a good place. Yes. I went through the same thing with my boys. Same exact thing. Teenagers are teenagers all around the world. It's universal. <laughs> They're teenagers. <laughs> oh, God. Universal. Put them all together. Put bag, look. Put, cover their whole bodies up. And guess what? They're all going to be doing the same exact thing. The only difference you'll be able to tell is really is color. But that's why I say put bags over them. So you can't see the color. And I guarantee you they all will be doing the same thing. Whether they're black, white, Chinese, Asian, well, whatever, <laughs> whatever nationality, teenagers are teenagers are teenagers, okay? Now, you might get one that do a little beat to a little different drum, but the majority of them, all their drums going to be beating at the same time. <laughs> oh, God. <clears throat> but anyway. It's all over now. Woo! <laughs> oh, Lord, let me quit at the ceiling. And I'm not saying it behind the nobody. Like, oh, she's talking about his grandkids. No, no, Derek. No, I tell him to. We say that when Princess Jewel go back to it because she wears me out. He'd be like, man, you just let her just get to you. God, I'm hollering the whole while, Princess Jewel. There, I know Princess Jewel is like my grandma is just certifiably crazy. I love her to death, but sometimes she can do some things and say some things that's just too grown. I'd be like, no, sister girl, not here at grandma house. You won't. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Now, grandma, this grandma ain't laughing like it's cute because it ain't cute, you know, sir. We got to. Nip it in the bud when you're at grandma's house. Yes. <laughs> God, you know. So, anywho, y'all, it's Friday. And I'm ready. Oh, goodness. Let me tell y'all this. This lady I know, right? Got to get my coffee in. This lady I work with, rather. They opened up a new Goodwill. And I'm why I put quotes around it. Because it's not like a fake one. It's actually a good wheel. <laughs> and she went looking. And there were some beautiful wedding dresses in there. There were two that's in the box. Where the people had took them and got them preserved. Beautiful. Not my size. And I could inspire myself. And buy the dress. And say okay. You got to lose weight. But I can't see what the bottom of the dress looks like. It's all packaged up in a box. I feel like they should take those dresses out and hang them on racks so that people can actually see what they're buying. 
if you leave it all preserved in a box, nobody can see what the bottom looks like. And I me mean myself personally, one dress was $80 and the other was $60. I'm not paying that much if I can't see what the bottom looks like. Now there was one that was out on the rack and it is exactly like I wanted, you guys. Exactly. I could not believe how the only I'm not gonna say exact the style was exactly. Now the only thing is I don't know if I too particularly care for the the little lace pattern that's on the bottom, but the dress I want. I, I don't want like a full-blown um, princess ball gown or I don't want a mermaid. I want a like a quarter, three-quarter length dress that just comes to the ankle and it kind of flares out like a I Love Lucy dress. Y'all know them dresses I Love Lucy used to wear? That's the style I want. That is the style dress I want. And that one is it, it, it's a perfect ringer for it. I didn't try it on yesterday because um, I was sweaty from the gym. Now, I might go by this afternoon when I get off work and see if it's still the same. And if it is, I'm going to get that dress. It, um, it comes across like this, but it has lace that covers you up. So, it's not like my back is going to be out. And it has the little short sleeves there. And it, it's kind of high-waisted. That, and that's kind of the dress dresses that look good on me and I just think that dress will look so beautiful on me but I don't know if I can deal with the little detailing actually on the bottom of the dress it's fine up top I love the top part but I don't know if I could do that now I don't even know if I can add a clip in here so you guys can see it or not I don't I don't know, but that is the particular style. You know how sometimes you don't know what you want, but that I knew what I wanted in my head, and that's come from so much from seeing say yes to the dress. Nobody ever gets a dress like this that I've seen, but I that's the style I want, and that's what I'm looking for. So I gotta look hard for this dress. I would rather, much rather, get it from the thrift store because it's only one day, and I do not want to spend a lot of money on a wedding dress that's only for one day. If I was a young, blushing bride, then yes, I would most definitely go all out and get me a nicer dress. Not the price that they pay on Say Yes to the Dress. I most definitely would never pay that much as to what they pay on Say Yes to the Dress. Never would I pay that much for a dress. But... You know, I would put some more money than the thrift store price in it. Okay. Um, yeah. So I gotta I wanna really love it before I pay for it. The dress is fifty dollars. So that's a good deal for that dress. Fifty dollars. Wonderful deal. So yeah, but I just need to try it on to see what I look like in it and see what I think about it. But most definitely, I know in my heart of hearts, I have found my style of dress, and I kind of have an idea of what to look for when I actually do go in to the bridal shop to actually look for a dress. Yeah, and we still haven't set a date. It's like everybody's like, well, "When is the day?" I'm like, I don't know, because I think people are thinking that. I'm going to have like a big to-do wedding and all this. I'm not. I want something small, simple, with, um, you know, just a few um, family and friends gathering. I actually was hoping that we would um, be settled in a house. I actually wanted to do it in a house, right at my house. Let my friend that who's an ordained minister let her marry us right there and just do something small in the house with the family i i really did now i really did want to have a nice reception at one point in my life i did and but i just rather take that money and spend it in vacation i just would for a honeymoon rather than yeah i just would so i haven't really decided what i'm going to do quite yet 
I think when we narrow down and set a date, I think uh, most, oh, I've been inside my lip. I think most definitely I will be able to um, decide what I want. But, you know, with trying to buy a house, trying to get debt free, some a wedding just is not fitting in that budget. It's just not fitting in that budget to spend that money. It's just, it's really not. So, um, I'm trying to think smart. I'm just telling you guys, these are things that you that I would have done. You know, you, you want to show people, yeah, I'm getting married to the man of my dreams. I don't have to show you in a wedding. You know what I'm saying? Show you about love every day. You know, I, I don't have to do all those big flamboyant things anymore. And... You know, I know every girl dreams of a marriage and wedding and gown. And I'm not talking against it. Like I said, if you were a younger bride, yes, I say go for it. Even if you're an older bride and you've never been married before and you want to have a wedding, I say go for it. Even if you've been married before and you want to have a wedding, then do it. But I'm just saying what goes along with my plans and my goals and where I'm trying to get to right now is just not feasible. So I'm just planning I, my, in my head. It's something very small, very simple. Very small, very simple. Yep. So, that's my plans and I'm sticking to it. So, so yeah, I think the folks on the job think I'm going to have this big to-do wedding. Nope. You can come and get a little square cake and some punch. But you ain't getting no meal, no sit down me. Sit down for a course meal. No. <laughs> oh God. When I get planning, y'all be like, I thought she said she wasn't having all that. <laughs> Don't bring this video back up later, okay? Because I'm subject to change my mind at any moment. <laughs> but anyway, guys, I'm green coffee for now. God don't talk too much about nothing. But anyway, y'all have a wonderful blessed Friday. As always, remember to do what? Give God some praise. Give Him some thanks for waking up this morning, starting you on your way, giving you another chance to get it right. It's always a blessing to get it right. Did you guys, oh, before I go, did y'all watch the meteorites? I was asleep. I ain't seen no meteor showers or none of that kind of stuff. None of that. None of it. So I'm going to have to watch it on people's clips. <laughs> or what it looked like, because I sure didn't see it. So anyway, I'm going to talk with y'all. Oh, I did see that fantastic gymnastics performance as well as Michael Phelps. That boy is a...